take this screw out, this screw out, these two, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Lift up in the center here, and you'll get your finger behind it. And see how that popped up? Okay, now you got a power button here, which means you're going to have a ribbon cable. So what we're going to do is just going to let this sit here for now. That ribbon cable goes underneath the keyboard. You got that screw, that screw, that screw. No. Everything that's got the shiny silver screw, you take off. So you got three screws here. You also have the ribbon cable for your speakers. So you want to make sure you don't do any damage to it. So we're going to take this screw, this one, and that one off. You're going to loosen this screw and that screw until it pops up. What's going to happen next? If that's going to come up. Same way with these screws here, and this one will come out completely. That's for your uh, CD ROM drive. I also have one more screw here. I'm noticing this stuff here is sticky, so that's a telltale sign to me that it's got some type of liquid damage done to it. Somebody spilled soda on it. They were sticky up here. The cover. It's also sticky on the battery. Okay. So we need to find that extra screw that's holding the keyboard down. I'm not seeing it up front. There it is. Keyboard symbol. There's that one. So we're going to take him off. And there's the other one for keyboard symbols right above it. You can put this back down. We're only going to be concerned about the keyboard at this point. Sometimes when they spill soda, you have an issue with the connection. Sometimes you can get away with it with just needing to dry it off. One last screw I forgot to see. It's the symbol there. It's down below. Okay. Now back to where we were. Slide that up. This is going to lift up. I'm going to pull this out. And now you get to see the connection here. This here. Let me focus. All you do is you flip it up. And this will slide out. Just like that. And that's all it takes for replacing the keyboard on this. Now I'm noticing there's a lot of carbon on this here so I'm just going to clean it up with some rubbing alcohol and also her mouse pad, track pad would stop working every now and then. I'm going to clean it up as well. 
putting the new keyboard in it, you just insert it back into this slot. Make sure you have it all the way even into it. You close it like that. Put it in a slot like this. Put the screws on the bottom. Put the screws in the top. Snap that back down. Screw the remainder of them on. And you're good to go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.